G'day everyone, this is your captain speaking and welcome back to the channel! A big thank you of course to each and every one of you that like and subscribe to these videos and you share them around the world with all of your buddies, all of your pals and all of your mates. And as the voice of the voiceless, let me tell you about today's video. Deputies notice a vehicle speeding and they try to do a bit of a traffic stop, but the silly billy stupid face has other plans and refuses to pull over to start with, which is about as smart as hammering a nail in with your face. So after a few minutes, she finally pulls over and the deputy approaches and that's when the real fun starts as this super glue sniffer goes full whack job and like a hard rock hotel, things go down pretty quick. Let's see how the guardians of the gravel handle this one as we take a look. Stop your vehicle or I will beat you out. Stop the vehicle. Same for We're pulling over now. Combination by Trump over. That's 10 4. Give me a favor, shut the radio off, step out. I need to talk to you for a second. I'm not stepping out of the car. What can I do? Ma'am, listen. 174, can I get another unit? She's refusing to step out of the vehicle and talk to me. What do I, what Normal, please. I will tell you in a second. I need you to step out. All right. Listen, ma'am. I'm we're, 1034, not right now. Listen, you're coming this close, all right? You're about to go to jail. All right? I'll explain everything to you if you step out. No. I'm telling you right now to step out of the vehicle or you are going to You are going to go to jail if you do not step out of the vehicle. I will tell you that in a second. Okay, tell me now. I don't have to tell you that. I'm telling you to step out now. I'm giving you a lawful order, okay? You're going 60 miles an hour in a 45, all right? Step out of the vehicle or I'm going to take you to jail right now. Do you understand that? I have other units coming right now. Step out or you are going to jail for resisting. I'm not... I'm I'm not playing around with you. You almost got pitted out. All right? What? You for failing to stop. I turned my sirens sir, on. Sir, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Listen, I ma'am. No, you are I'm as soon as another you no, listen, I'm telling really you. I am right now. I'm telling I'm you step to out of the vehicle. I don't want to talk to you in the okay, car. Get I'm out of the saying. vehicle. Fed fucking dinkum. I will never understand these menstrual stains on the bed sheets of life playing these dumb fuck games. I mean, you'd have better luck training a goldfish to suck cock than getting away with treating the cops like they're your under boob sweat. Fucking rhinos are going extinct, but somehow this orc with a fork could probably pump out a litter of disappointment when it comes mating season. Just follow his instructions. It's not that hard, like every male that you've ever led back to your lair. The only skill I reckon she has is turning a bud light into domestic violence. Get out of the vehicle. Oh. Ma'am, once another unit comes, I'm busting this window no, and I am dragging not. you out. Bust my window car. You're not even letting me talk and let me explain. I don't need stuff. I don't need you. I'm telling you to step out. I am legally allowed to tell you to step right out. Now. I don't I don't care what you think. I am telling wow. you right now to step out of the vehicle or you're going to jail. I'm giving you one last chance. If you do not step out of this vehicle, I am taking you to jail for resisting. That is it. The end of discussion, you are going to jail. I will break this window and I will remove you forcefully. You, you can do whatever you think. Zoller. 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 Yes, ma'am. I'm telling you right now. I am I'm giving you a lawful order. Please step out of the vehicle. I don't have to explain myself to you. That is a lawful order. You should probably understand what the law is. Because you're wrong. Good to go. I'm not wrong. You're not busting my window. I'm going to bust your window if you do not step out of the vehicle. I don't need to have a conversation with you inside the vehicle. I am giving you a lawful order. This is the last time. Good to go. You are going to jail right now for resisting. No, because you're not talking to me. You're being very rude. 174. And I'm not gonna stop in the, in the park that I don't even I don't even know you, and I don't even know. Just be you. advised, the as soon as we get the female, she can be 10, 15 right for instruction. Conversation with you, and the fact that you're being very rude right now, like I'm trying to run away from you, I am not. I'm just yep. move over. All right, get to go. I'm. We're not having. I'm done talking to you. I'm going to break that window if you do not step out of the vehicle. 
No, I'm trying to have a conversation. I'm not having a conversation with you. I gave you multiple. Rude. I don't, ma'am, no. you can say all everything you want. You're you can very rude. listen. I want to talk to your sergeant. I don't. You will talk to the sergeant once you're in handcuffs. I want to talk to your sergeant. You can talk to the sergeant once. That's fine. No. You're going to jail. No. You are going to jail. I'm not. You want to bet? No, I'm not. We'll see. We'll see who who. We'll see. I plead the blood of Jesus right now over this situation. God knows 174, that's 104. She's requesting you. I advise no. that she can speak to you when she's in handcuffs. You done, you dirty goat fucker. You were given more chances than a special school student on a field trip to a petting zoo not to pull the fucking tail. And you went ahead and pulled the fucking tail again, didn't you? Didn't you, you off brand douche bottle? The deputy wants you out of the car before he talks to you as you've already shown signs of being dumber than dipping your dick in a dingo's den or letting that fucking Jared bloke from Subway run a childcare centre. The fucking chances in you not going to jail tonight are fucking zero. Fuck, you would have a better chance at Rick Astley giving you up, letting you down, running around and fucking hurting you than not tasting Big Bertha's taco tonight. And just when you think she couldn't get more fucked than Billie Eilish's shower head, this bouncy house of bullshit decides to take the show on the road and the fuck around and find out 500 gets underway. It's your last chance. I'm, I'm going to be nice. Give you one more chance. Step out of the vehicle. Step out of the vehicle or you're going to jail. I'm going to break the window and you're going to jail. Step out of the vehicle. All right, you want to go that way. 174, she's pulling off. Give me traffic. Step out of the vehicle! Step out of the vehicle now! Step out of the vehicle with your hands up! Step out of the vehicle with your hands up! Step out of the vehicle with your hands up! She doesn't seem to be listening there, big fella. Maybe you need a fuckhead interpreter to come in. Here, let me interpret your commands for her. Duh, you're a fucking dumbass. You shouldn't have driven away from the policeman. And now you're going to need some money for the bus. And why you need a fuckhead interpreter has got me fucked. Because I don't care what language you speak, if someone is pointing a cordless coffin filler at me, I understand exactly what they want. But then again, fucking Queef Latifa over here seems about as intelligent as eating crowns in the hopes that you will shit out of Picasso. She is like the result that you would expect if Harry Potter fucked his owl. And I hope whatever sea mammal that pushed her out of its wave maker has had its opening wired shut in the hopes that it will never give birth to another corrosive chromosome collector like her ever again. We know exactly what's about to happen, don't we, folks? We know it. We've foreseen the future on this one. It's pretty easy to predict. So why don't we hold hands and watch her play a very, and I mean very, explosive version of our favorite game, Fuck around and find out. Hey guys, watch Crossfire. I'm going to put spikes under her tires. Here, just take care of business. Get out of the car! Get out of the car! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Out of the car. Stop! 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 Get out! Get out! Step out of the car. Stop! 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 
Get out! Stop. Put your hands behind your back. Put your Stop. hands behind your back. Stop! 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 Got resistance. Stop! Stop! I didn't do anything wrong! I didn't do anything wrong! I didn't do anything wrong! 197. She's detained, windows have been busted, you can clear traffic. same way that boy George is a fucking muff diving instructor. I did nothing wrong. I did nothing wrong. You drove away from a traffic stop. You didn't identify yourself and you wouldn't get out of the car. That's a few things fucking wrong. And don't even get me started on your choice of fashion. You look like a fucking hot air balloon that wish it was a real person and then that real person got fucking Down syndrome. I reckon if they painted a H in the middle of your back, maybe Kobe could have landed that helicopter safely. You didn't talk to me. Okay. You anything did not on talk. Yourself. Anything on you, you I'll pick up sick of You did us. not talk. You have anything on you? You did not talk to me. I'm not talking to nobody. Okay. You guys did not talk at you. all. And you hit my car. Yes, I did. Why did you hit my car? You did not talk to me. I don't need you did not want Yes, you should. Yes, I have a right you, to be talked to and have a reason why. Howdy, no, howdy. I'm not telling you anything. Right. I do know my rights. You guys are wrong. You guys are absolutely wrong. I'm not going in and waiting for my dad. You're going to have a seat. I'm waiting for my dad. You're going to have a seat. I'm waiting for my dad. Help! Help! I'm being pulled alive by the police! Help! Not Help! You're heading. I am sitting in the seat. You're heading all the way. No! No! Hold, Hold it here. No! Stop! No! I want to... Take don't it. touch me! Stop! I'm taking your glasses. Stop! Stop! So Stop. We'll break them. No! Ready? Right. No! You can't Help! Eat. You're gonna get a felony charge. Help! 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 You're pulling my hair! Help! Help! Get that side. Help! Close that door. Help! Help! I got Help! 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 I'm being pulled by the police! Ma'am, give him the car. Help! I got you. Help! I got you. Get in the car. Jesus Christ. Oh, brother in blue, fucking don't bring Jesus into this. He wants nothing to do with her. He would rather have the holes in his hands be used as a flashlight than to come down here and smack a bitch. Help! 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 What do you think is gonna happen, dipshit? Some homeless hero sleeping in the dumpster's gonna come over and fucking rescue, is he? Whiskey away to Red Lobster? You see, this is what happens when pimps don't have hands, because the lack of pimp slapping is fucking strong with Teletubby tits over here. No wonder aliens stopped doing anal probes on people. They fucking lost the last probe up here, and they're like, well, fuck, what do we do now? We've got no anal probes left. And they're like, surely we packed more than one. And they're like, we used all of them. We used the whole fucking lot of them on her because her anal cavity was so fucking big. We didn't know what to do. So we thought, fuck it. We're just going to get all the anal probes together. We're going to wrap it in some sticky tape. We'll shove it up there, and we'll see what happens. And we fucking did that, and this fucking hula hoop trap fucking pinched them and we're like where did the fucking anal probes go and they're like i don't know i put it in her and now they're fucking gone and then they put her on earth and then they flew away and 80 percent of the alien workforce is like well fucking what do we do now i was only in this job for the anal probing and if we haven't got a probe to fucking hit people in the ass with i don't want any part of this mission anymore so they all fucking unionized and left and it's all on her well done well done good on you listen i got your glasses up here okay uh, what else do you want to go to jail with you? Your purse, I assume? 
I'm not going to jail. You're going to jail, ma'am. <laughs> you, uh, no, you, you have. You you're gonna have. Talk to me. You have. Uh, you are very rude to me. You did not want to talk to me at all. It's all on camera. I don't have to. Yeah, I yes, gave you, you multiple yes, lawful you do orders. Yes, you have the right to talk to me. I could. And do I you asked understand? You why I was being do you, stopped. You understand? You told me why, and I was trying to explain to you why I was pulling over. I don't care. And you didn't. You, I don't no, need because see, you're being very rude. I'm not being rude. You're not. Yes, listen, you this is your no, problem. You need to understand. You are not in control. You are not in control. You are not in control. No, you are not. Not when I turn on my light. And I see you're being very rude, ma'am. Very All right, rude. Ma'am. I want to talk to the sergeant. I do not want to leave this premise. I want to talk to the sergeant. Do you have a valid driver's license? Is that why you're acting like this? Because you, are you suspended? Did you check my plates? Are you secure? Secure Brady? If you fail to identify, I'm gonna charge you again for that. Are you secure, Bray? It's, make You're this not simple. My name right, so no, I'm so not. what is your name then? You help me t- what is your name? If you do not tell me your name, I am gonna charge you with fairly identify. We're gonna take you to the jail. You're gonna get booked under John Doe or Jane Doe, okay? And then you're gonna sit there until here? he's right here. All right. Uh-oh. I want to talk to you, sir. I don't want to talk. Good to go. Me. Fuck. Be like her dad, mate. Pull out, shoot it up her back, and give this bitch nothing. Arguing with her right now is like putting fake tits on a vacuum cleaner. So unless you're fucking it, it's a complete waste of time. Does she think that the sergeant is going to listen to her cock dribble and be like, well, fuck, you're free to go. You got a better chance getting turned on by Whoopi Goldberg porn than that ever happening. Just take her to jail, fire hose your car out, Grab an apple juice and chill, because no matter what you say or do right now, will not stop SeaWorld Shamu over here from flapping her gums like a grandmother fucking parachuting. Speaking about tits though, I was oiling up Hayley Steinfeld's the other day, and I'm rubbing the oil in and I said to her how great it is that I can enjoy some tits without, you know, having to follow it up and all that sort of stuff, and she agreed with me, but I could see that she was a little bit upset that she might not get the three C's, that's the certified captain cock for those playing at home, (laughs) and then I started laughing, and I pointed at her and I went, ha ha, fucking psych, and then I whipped it out faster than a scolded dog, (laughs) and we fucked. Hey, what's going on? Sir, I understand that I may be going 15 over the mile because I was going 60, not not 20 over okay. the mile. All right. So yes, I, I do contest to that. Now, I didn't know that the police officer was trying to pull me over. So when I moved over so he can, you know, do whatever he's going to do, but then I'm like, okay, so he's still behind me. So I go to a lighted area. Okay. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not familiar with this area like that. Yeah, I pulled fair. over to a lighted area, and then he came at me very, very hard. Okay. Now I don't know what job procedures are like that, yeah. but I'm, not, I'm by myself driving by myself. I don't feel comfortable. Okay. Being by the, with a police officer, he was very aggressive. Right. Telling me he was gonna bust my windows and I'm going to jail. Was he asking and I you to leave? Out. No, hold on, hold on, please let me speak because he didn't let me speak at all. Okay. I'm not gonna step out the vehicle if he could have just came to me cool calm and collective he was already on 10 coming to me and that's very disrespectful i didn't do anything anything to him okay now, i understand i may have been going 15 over the mile which i know really lawfully I, like i will if, if it's over 20 over the mile so i understand like lawfully that's wrong but um everybody always goes 60 down here Everybody always, and I'm just trying to go home so I could get to my kid and my family. Whoa, 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 slow up, slow up, slow up. Someone fucked you? Really? You? Miss Moose Knuckle Chin? Some, someone fucked you, yeah? Now I understand why Captain Ahab couldn't catch Mopey Dick. That poor fucker's on witness protection after fucking her. If that deputy was aggressive like you're claiming, then John Cryer is a fucking roid monster. You know everything's on camera, right? Like, all of it. All of it's on camera. I normally believe that vaccines are a good thing, but seeing this fucking thing makes me wonder about the levels of fuckwit that's in them. <laughs> like this walking heart attack's been fucking vaccinated. How did she even get here without someone fucking yelling out Bloody Mary three times? Hey, so, Carrie, if you have any experience with seizures, can you, do you, you've seized cars before, right? Why would you be seizing my car? 
We gotta see if she has any liens. There's no liens. Yeah, and it could be. And I think it might be registered to her. You might have to, if you want to check on that. He's threatening to break my windows, which I don't think is right. When he could have just came and talked to me and just gave me a ticket, and, and I would have left. But he just he just came to me very aggressively, telling me he's gonna break my windows. I need to step out of the car. I'm like, no, I'm not stepping out of the car. I don't know you because you would have just did this anyways. I don't feel comfortable, and then he crashed my car. I don't care if that's what, what do you guys protocol. I wasn't trying to run, officer, initially. But if he's going to say he's going to damage my car, which I have to pay for at the end of the day, because I know y'all ain't going to try to pay for my car being broken now, both of my windows and my bumper. Like, come on. That is okay, totally do you have any questions or anything? I was totally disrespected by him. And I know you don't even care because of the way you're, you're acting right now. Okay, do you have any questions or anything? One, why couldn't he just pull me over normally and just came to my car respectfully and told me that I was going over the speed limit so that I don't have to explain to you first? He should have, he, I don't care what type of mood he's in, but he shouldn't be disrespectful to anybody okay. and just threatening them as soon as they come to the car. That is an abuse of force. Okay. Hey, hey, hey! It seems that the sergeant's done a course on how to ignore dumb fucks because he couldn't give less of a fuck right now. She's blabbing on and on and on and he's thinking about what type of blowjob Selma Hayek would give. A fucking good one, sergeant. A fucking real good one. Fuck me, she is more painful than being throat fucked by a baseball bat called Stinger. My dad, this is true, had a belt that he called Stinger and he would hang it on my door handle at night if I was misbehaving and all that sort of stuff. Look, it's not what you think. He never actually used the belt. I mean, how could he when he was busy smacking the fuck out of me with it? And thank God he did. Who knows what I could have become. I would have probably ended up like a piece of giraffe shit like her or maybe a fucking doctor. That's an abuse of force. We're, we're, I'll look at the body cam footage, okay? Because I asked him, okay, do you have any? You do you have any over? questions or anything? When can I go? I'm not going uh, you're to jail going to, No, you're going to jail and we're taking for your what? car. For fleet For failing to stop and refusing no, no, to leave. No, no, okay, no, no. we're done. I'm not, I was not all right, failing all right, to stop. All right, cool. Pull over. See, now you're being rude too. Um, I can, uh... I can transport for Zola if you'd like. Um, yeah, dude. Yeah? Fine. Okay. You want to take her right now? Yeah. Okay, you want to let's make, let's get her out then. What's her name? Jacaria? I don't, I don't know. Okay. Is she on this side? Did you want to look at the RO? Is that her? Is she the RO? She said her car. Like her? Okay. Okay. Hey. You're going to go to my car, okay? All right. No, I want to be let go. Okay. You're going to jail. You're going? No, I am not. You're on you're, you're, you're no. Listen. No, he listen. was rude listen. to me. Listen. He was totally okay. disrespectful okay. coming to my I'm, car. I'm going to hurt your feelings. I'm Debbie Kim, okay? But we got to go to jail. Okay. No. That's, that's not. No, the, I'm waiting for my dad. No, we're not doing that. No. So, no. you're going to go with us or? No. Right, come on. a Chinese sex fluid prank that kind of got out of control. Fuck, I bet that her deathly hollows looks like a fucking anaconda has unhinged its jaw in an effort to consume an Airstream trailer. Fucking so dusty that on quiet days you can actually hear it sing. The only one who could ever reach me was the son of a preacher man. The only boy who could ever teach me was the son of a preacher man. No, stop. Wait, hold on. Do not. Stop. Uh, can you wait? Stop. Come on. Can we Get out talk, of the car. Stop. Can we talk? I'm trying to talk. We're talk. fast talking. You already ran. Get out of the car now. Hey, I'm not Get out of the car. anywhere. Walk. It's my dad. I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to talk. Stop. We're done, I'm not We're done talking. I'm not even running. It's open. Stop. Get in the car. Get in the car. Okay, thank you. Just have a seat, please. Sit down, please. or they're going to grab you by your handcuffs and pull you in the car. Let me sit down. Stop. Wait. Let Get me in do the it. Car. Let me do it. 
sit down. Let me okay. do it. Sit down. Okay. okay. Let me sit do down. It. Okay. Okay. Sit down. Okay. Sit down, please. Okay. Damn. Sit down. Okay. No. You're about out of time. Sit down. No, you guys are being. Wait. Hey. Hey. You hey. Hey. Stop. Stop. Oh. 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 You're hurting my arm. Well, isn't she just a ray of sunshine on a bonfire of bullshit? I don't know what's fucking wrong with her, but I feel like I need to do some charity gigs to raise awareness about it. If she didn't have a fucking pussy between her legs, there would be a prize on her head. And for those playing at home, get your scorecards out and jot this one down. She was charged with uh, failing to obey a law enforcement officer and obstruction, and now she faces 18 months in prison. But she did get to spend some time with Big Bertha raking her cranberry farm for a little bit. So I guess fucking high fives all round there. <sighs> On that note, it does bring us to the end of another great video. I hope you've had a bit of fun. I hope you've had a bit of a laugh. I hope you've taken your shirts off, got naked if you want. Click that like and subscribe button. And once you've done all that, now you can go run a naked down the street, find your nearest local engineer place, kick open the doors of the engineering centre and say, listen here, you mechanically minded fucks. Why don't you watch this video with me? They're going to watch the video with you. They're going to thoroughly enjoy themselves as well. They're probably going to figure out how to reverse engineer the video and make it more funny. And if they do that, then I'm out of a fucking job. So tell them not to do that. Tell them don't worry about reverse engineering any of these jokes because none of them make a fucking lick of sense anyway. So don't fucking go wasting your time trying to figure out how I do it because I don't know how I fucking do it either. So once they've done all that though and they've tried to figure it out, then there's going to be a huge engineering orgy taking place. And because they're engineers, there's going to be like really cool fucking robots and stuff involved. So you're going to enjoy that and you should be proud of yourself because, well, you fucking started that. And who knows, you might just get some money. But I better get going. I'm expecting a fucking phone call from Terry again. Fucking <laughs> Terry. He's in trouble with the missus yet again. He rings me in a half today and he says to me, Oh, I am in a little bit of fucking trouble. I said, you're in a bit of trouble, mate. Why, what's happening? He goes, well, my girlfriend is just a little bit fucking pissed. I said, your missus is pissed again, mate. What's happened? Tell me the story. And he goes, well, I was fucking standing in the kitchen and she fucking says to me, she says, Terry, you fucking stud muffin. I am just a little bit fucking upset. I'm like, okay, well, there's got to be more to that conversation. Obviously, it wasn't just her saying that and walked off. So fucking, what did she say? And he goes, well, I fucking said to her, I said to her, I said, love, you fucking big titted fucking babe. Why are you so fucking upset? And she fucking says to me, Captain, she fucking says to me, it's because of you, Terry, you fucking big stud muffin. I'm fucking upset at you. I said, she's fucking upset at you. Why, what did you do wrong? And he says, well, I fucking asked her. I said, what did I fucking do wrong? That is fucking got you so fucking upset. And she fucking said, listen here, Terry, you fucking stud muffin. And I said, yeah, big titted babe, what do you fucking need? And she says, well, you don't do anything fucking romantic for me. And I want you to start doing some fucking romantic things. I'm like, that's fair enough, mate. That's what you got to do. I said, you got to do romantic things because, let's face it, you're not the easiest guy to live with, let alone fuck. So I'd be doing everything I can to keep her happy and keep her around. So what did she say? He goes, well, I asked her. I said, what fucking romantic things would you like me to fucking do, you big-titted babe? And she said, Terry, you fucking stud muffin. I want you to start bringing home flowers and putting flowers all over the fucking place. How I fucking like flowers. And if you can put fucking flower everywhere, I'll be fucking happy. I said, okay, well, that's fair enough. Did you do that? He goes, I fucking sure did. And she still was fucking angry at me. I said, so hang on, you put flowers everywhere and she got angry at you. He goes, I fucking sure did because I went down the shop and I bought some flowers and I fucking came home with the flower and then I opened the flowers up and I fucking tipped them everywhere and there was fucking flour everywhere and she got fucking angry at me. I said, whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean you opened them up? He goes, well, I bought some fucking self-raising. I felt fucking some plain. I bought some baking. Whoa, whoa, Terry, you bought flour, not flowers. That's why she's upset. Oh, he says, that fucking makes sense. Uh, fucking hell, Terry. All right. Hooroo.